My name is Dale Kwasniewski. I'm the Senior Director of Engineering for the Global Drive Axle and Driveline Products. And in today's episode of Decoding Components, I'm gonna be talking about the Drive Axle product line. The drive axle is the final drive of the vehicle, which has the wheels connected to it or the tires. And then inside of the axle, there is a ring and a pinion gear. That ring and pinion is what dictates the road speed. Pinion itself is connected to the drive shaft, which connects to the engine and transmission. That's how it gets its torque and speed. The drive axle performs three primary functions. One, it supports the weight of the vehicle and the payload. Two, it directs the torque from the engine to the wheel ends. And three, most importantly, it optimized the performance of the engine and transmission that's selected by fine tuning it with the gear ratio of the axle. The drive axle impacts emissions because the gear ratio of the axle sets the road speed. So that sets your cruising RPM for the engine. And the lower you can drive the cruising RPM of the engine increases fuel economy and decreases emissions. You know, the key components is the ring gear and pinion, the carrier and cap assembly, which houses the ring gear and pinion. And then there's the wheel differential, which allows you to go around turns. And then of course, there's the axle housing, which mounts all the suspension brackets and the wheel ends. What's in store for us in the future, and in the immediate future, is the max efficiency uh, integrated drivetrain that since Cummins acquired the Meritor organization and has the relationship with the Eaton Cummins JV, we now are building an engine, transmission, driveline, and axles to where we can fine tune it as a system and maximize the efficiency and maximize the durability. That's the immediate future includes also ratios as fast as 1.95 to one, which again is further improving efficiency and reducing emissions.